Hey everybody, Tech the Fun Guy here. We're going to be painting some Plague Bearers today, or for the Chaos Demon, because the Chaos God of Nurgle. So, for this, we're, let's get started. So, for this, we're going to start off with our first Plague Bearer. We're going to use this one, which I base coated with Wraith Bone off camera. We're going to use a contrast paint, Plague Bearer Flesh. So, what we're going to do, take some Plague Bearer Flesh, put it on the paw palette like so, or pot, like or whatever you got. Thin this down a little bit. There we go, perfect. So what we're going to do is this. So all over the wraith bone, we're going to basically we're going to use this contrast paint all over the miniature. Plague bear flesh is naturally named after this model, model or demon unit, and if you can see why, it has a nice sort of yellowish, sickly green yellowish tone, which is perfect for these guys. Plague bear flesh is also very nice. I used it on some of my Gretchen that I've done for a video, uh, done a video in the past, and I just love this paint. This is one of my favorite contrast paints, as a matter of fact. Smooth coats. All right, that's the one with Plague Bearer Flesh done. All right, for the next Plague Bearer, we have this one. For this, we're gonna mocha mostly focus on an olive drab sort of tone. So for this, we're gonna use Death World Forest. Check out the paints like so. I did base coat them with Death World Forest off camera, but you know, I just did it just so I can, that way I can make this video a little quicker. So watch this. Take some Death World Forest and just put it all over the miniature, like so. I already put another coat off of this off camera, so we just need a second in coat just to make sure it's nice. Perfect. All right, that's the one base coated in Death World 4. All right, for the next Plague Bearer, we're gonna use a different cone, uh, to tone. We're gonna use Auric Flesh. So, I already got some Auric Flesh off my palette. I forgot to play the camera when that happened. Oops. <laughs> so, we're gonna base coat all over this one or apply a second coat of Auric Flesh. So it has a nice, so it has a nice little skin tone. That's, that's pretty good. There we go, perfect. Okay, for the fourth Plague Bearer, which we have right here, we're going to use a lighter skin tone. For this, we're going to use Gut Rip of Flesh. So, shake up your paints like so. This is a contrast paint, so it does need to be shaken up quite a, uh, quite a bit. Let me move my paint pots out the way, make sure they're closed. Perfect. So, for here, we're going to take this. Take some Gut Rip of Flesh onto the palette like so, just right here. So, right here. So what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna apply this uh, contrast paint all over the miniature. This is a little different looking one, but this was given to me by a friend of mine and he kit bashed it, so yeah. I initially thought Gut Rip of Flesh was not like a decent paint, but after seeing it myself and testing it out on like some Gretchen and Plague Bearers, this is a really cool green paint for sure. Gut Rip of Flesh is mostly used for Orc armies, but you can also use this for Plague Bears as well. It gives a nice sort of green tone. Nice green tone. All right, that's the one with Gut Rip of Flesh done. All right, for the one that we base coated in, uh, in Death World Forest, let me have forgot to turn on the light by accident. So what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna apply a wash to the miniature. Um, we're gonna make it a little more greenish. So what we're gonna do is gonna take a wash. So let me make sure I find the right wash just so I make sure which one it is. We're gonna use Beal Tan Green. So you get some Beal Tan Green. Puddle this, thin it down a little bit. Perfect. So what we're gonna do is this. Take some Beal Tan Green. Make sure you don't overload your brush. And just make sure, and we're gonna apply this all over the, all over the miniature. has a nice sort of nasty green tone, and that's perfect to what we're looking for. All right, there we go. That's the one with the Biltang green wash applied. All right, for the fourth Plague Bearer, which we base coated in Auroch Flesh, we could use Biltan Green, but I'm gonna use a different uh, different tone. We're gonna use Athonian Camo Shade. It's essentially a brownish green tone. So what we're gonna do is, is shade, not tone, shade. What am I saying? So we're gonna take some uh, Athonian Camo Shade, 
take some out of the pot like so, and we're going to put this on our palette like so, like right here. What we're going to do is this. So basically take some Methonian Camo Shade, and we're going to apply this all over the one that we applied with Auroch Flesh. And as you can see, it's not really over darkening, but it's really cohesive with the Auroch Flesh. You could, of course, use Biotan Green, but I'm using uh, Ethonian Camo Shade because I don't want this one to have more of a drab or muted color appearance. It's very nice. I love it. All right, that's the fourth one shaded with Ethonian Camo Shade. All right, for the next part of the miniature, we're basically going to start base coating all the horns on the miniatures. So for this, we're going to take Contrast Paint, Snake Bite Leather. So take a, take a mix, uh, shake up your paints like so. Take some contrast paint like so. I'm using a small brush because it's just for the horns. You can also use this for the claws, but uh, yeah. So for the horns of the, of the miniature, basically what you're going to try to do is basically this. Let me see, like right here. So basically we're going to take our, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a smooth blend. We're just picking out the horns. Picking out the horns for the horns. This one right here, this one only has one. And you will have plague bearers that have more than one horn. I'll get to that in just a second, but this one has a large horn, like right here. Kind of cover that with snake bite leather. There we go. And this one that we painted in plague bearer flesh, this one has 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 two horns. Basically, it doesn't change anything. All we're gonna do is gonna is gonna use the smite snake bite leather on them. All right, that's the snake bite leather done. Okay, so now for the everything that has in common, there's exposed guts on every plug bear. I'm gonna uh, demonstrate this on one and finish the rest off camera. So for this, we're gonna take a, we're gonna take two base paints. We're gonna use a mix of Bugwin's glow and an equal mix of Screamer pink. So what we're gonna do? Take some Bugwin's glow, put it on the palette like so, and then a equal brush full of Screamer pink. You could, of course, use pure Screamer Pink or Bugwin's Glow. I just want to mix so it looks a little more nasty. And I got my hand in paint, just great. So he has a nice little intermediate tone, which is perfect. All right, we're gonna to switch to a smaller brush for this. Um, Let's see, let's see. Perfect, we're gonna use this brush. Then this with a little bit of water. What we're gonna do is basically this. What we're gonna do is gonna go all over the intestines. So for the intestines right here, try not to get it on the skin, but we're gonna base coat all over with this, with this mix. Where there's intestines, sores, like right here. And any more sores right here on the back, right here. And don't worry if you go over a little bit, it will just look more nasty, which is exactly which is what we want. I think I got some on the thing. No, I didn't. Okay. And also this part where the flesh is hanging out, you can also do that with that. And for the next part, but for what we have with other ones, you'll have some with intestines like these. So if you look right here, like we're on the underneath of this guy, we're gonna paint those as well with this mix. As well as the sores, we're just doing this right here because it's more fun. Don't forget to paint the back of the intestines as well. And for this part, like say if your model has a skull, like this one, you just have to paint around the skull like, like this. Go around the skull, perfect. You can also go inside the mouth with the mouth hat because its mouth is open. Sore, so like say if we have some exposed flesh like right here, just paint that in, perfect. Another sore, any more sores? No, I believe that's pretty much done. Oh, there's also some scratches on the legs. Don't forget the legs. Some legs and some fleshed right here. Okay, that's the Screamer Pink and Bugwins Glow base coat finished. Okay, for the next detail, we're gonna take our little smaller brush for the next one. So, we're gonna take Averland Sunset. So, what we're gonna do, take some Averland Sunset. 
we are going to use our small extra, our very fine brush for this because this is a smaller detail. So we're going to thin this down a little bit, just a tad. Perfect. What we're going to do with this is simple. We're going to paint the eyes. So we're going to paint so the eyes of the miniature. So for this, for the eyes of the plague bear, we're just looking on this one that has three eyes. So paint that right there. And we're also going to paint all over the where there's boils all over the miniature. So for right here on the arms, legs, etc. Just look wherever you see a bump, and it's probably going to be a boil. And the boils are going to be extreme, are going to be a key factor into what makes this model look nasty. And I'll do the rest of the boils on the other plague bears off camera. I'm just demonstrating for this one. There we go. And while we have this paint out or the brush, we're going to also going to focus on something else. So if you notice, I did miss some details where the flesh would the color would be. That's completely fine. I just noticed that. So what we're going to do is this. Take our small brush again into the same Bugman's Glow and Screamer Pink mix. We're going to paint that in. On the arm, like so. There we go. Oh, almost on the back. You don't have to do all the boils and stuff like that. I just like doing most of them so that way it has more have it has more interest on the miniature. All right, that's the boils and the eyes base coated. And before I forget with boils, we also have larger ones like on this miniature right here. We're going to just take the same mix and just paint it on. There we go. That one's that base coated. All right, for the next part of the uh, part of the step, we're going to uh, base coat all the bone. So for this, we're going to use wraith bone. So for this, we could take some wraith bone and we're gonna open up our thing. We're still gonna use our small brush for this so that way we can have lots of control. So for this paint, what we're gonna do is very simple. We're gonna base coat all, all basically just the teeth. And if, you're, and if your model has exposed bones like this backside right here, make sure to paint those as well. For the one that we painted earlier that has the skull in it, basically what we're going to do is paint the skull. We're also going to paint the teeth of the miniatures. Coat all the teeth. All right, and then we'll finish rest off camera. All right, for the next part, we're gonna fade, we're gonna shade all the intestines and guts on sores. So for this, we're gonna take a little contrast paint. We're gonna use Megos Purple. So check out your paints like so. Megos Purple is more of a translucent thing, translucent contrast paint. So this is would be perfect. Just making sure it's shaken up for you properly. There we go. Perfect. Take some Magos purple and put it on the palette like so. This is a little thick, so I am going to have to thin it down a little bit. So what we're going to do is this. Thin down some Magos purple, and what we're going to do is this. So if you look at where the intestines are, like such as right here, the, head, the white spot is the head, by the way. So what we're going to do, paint this all over the guts and sores. As you can see, it has like a nice little nasty like purple effect, which is perfect. I love it. And don't worry if this gets a little bit on the flesh, don't worry, it'll just make it look more infected, which is awesome. See, look, as like say if you like here, it looks more sore. And that, and that effect is pretty awesome. I love it. So for this one, and also for this one that has intestines as well, or the flesh, we're not going to shade the skull because that would just be problematic. So we are going to shade the other outside sores, like right here, especially on the back, like so. You can also put it on the outside, like I said, to make it more swollen and affected. Just make sure it's very subtle on the outside, and it's and I love it like that. For this one, same technique. This one has more sores, so we're going to go all over the sores and intestines, like so.
Okay, and for the last one, we're gonna go with the one with the Plague Bearer Flesh. You do have to be kind of careful with this one because it's contrast paint on contrast paint, but don't worry if you do, it actually makes it look really cool. Take the sword and watch this. Nice little sore effect. Like a little bit infected, gives it more of the nasty feel, which is awesome. All right, that's the sores and guts shaded. All right, for the next part of the Plague Bearers, we're gonna shade all the blisters and boils on the miniatures. So for this, I'm gonna use a flesh wash we're gonna use Flush Wash by Army Painter. So, I, I, you could use Cassandora Yellow or any yellow wash, but I like to use in the flesh tone so that way it looks more nasty. Take some wash. We are gonna thin this down because this is a, is a little thick. So what we're gonna do is this. What we're gonna do is basically shade all over the blisters and boils. It gives like a nice little fleshy hue. We are also all going to go over all the other parts. Don't worry if this gets on the skin. Just make sure you just soak it up afterwards. It gets a nice little nasty feel. All right, with that, uh, with that, that's the boils pretty much, uh, pretty much shaded. I'll finish the rest off camera. And for all the bone on the miniature, we're going to use a wash of seraphim sepia. So take up the seraphim sepia like so, and I'm going to put some on the pot since when this one closes on itself pretty uh, e easily. So basically we're going to focus on different parts that are bone. So for this part, like right here, just like that, and just like that, there we go. And on this side, this one has this has a skull inside of his stomach. We're going to paint, shade that. And also we don't have much bone model. So yeah, bone on these models. So yeah, this is pretty much it. That's pretty much it for the bone. Soak up this excess. That's pretty much all the bone done. All right, for the next fleshy detail, we're going to just going to highlight the intestines and sores with Bugman's Glow. So you don't have to highlight these. I'm just highlighting them to give them a little extra effect to it. So take some Bugman's Glow. We're gonna thin this down quite a bit because it is a base paint and we don't and we wanna use translucent layers. So what we're gonna do is this. If you look on the intestines, like right here, towards where the camera can see it, we're basically just gonna highlight the outside or the tops of it, like right here, right here, right here. For the tongue, for the tongues, you don't have to do the sores, but let me just do the sores like right here, just the exposed parts and just wipe off the excess. I do need to keep these translucent so that way it gives the effect. Right there. And for this one, for this intestines, which are more prominent, what we're gonna do is gonna highlight the outsides of these. Use very little paint, just a little highlight. There we go, perfect. You don't have to highlight these again, but I just like doing it just for fun. And for this last one, this one has guts, uh, has sores, like you can also, I'm also going to paint this on the tongue, on this one right here. And also this sore on his back, just highlighted it very subtly. Alright, and that's all the guts and sores highlighted. Final detail we're going to focus on is the plague swords of all these miniatures. We're going to use a contrast paint, Black Legion. So shake up the paints like so. I do have to make this kind of quick so I make sure my camera doesn't like uh, doesn't conk out. So take some Black Legion, and we're going to take this and put it all over our plague swords. So for right here, just paint was one single coat of black. Okay, be careful not to get this on the skin or any other details, but don't worry if you do. You can just uh, go back and tidy it up later. Although wait, it will take a little bit. All right, and I'll do the rest of the Plague Swords off camera. All right, that's our Plague Bearers done. This is the one that we used Plague Bearer Flesh and used the same technique for the guts and sores. For this one, we used uh, we used uh, we used Oruk Flesh and just used the uh, same techniques. This one with Death World Forest, same techniques. And this one, we used Gut Ripper Flesh, same techniques. So these are four ways you can paint your Plague Bearers. I just wanted to give more varied skin tones so that way you can decide on what you like. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.